Family members still have trouble understanding what happened a couple of days ago. A Monday car crash in Rockford killed a young mother of two. Rachel Perry sat down with the victim's niece today, and Rachel, she tells you the woman's daughters are now without a mom and dad. That's right, Mimi and Eric. Her family tells me the 28-year-old was the best mom and would do anything and everything for her kids. And they say after her fiancé was killed five years ago, she took on the role of both mom and dad for her girls. Whatever you have to do, wherever you're going, it's still going to be there. Two kids are without their mom following a crash in Rockford. Janelle Solis says her aunt, Amanda De La Rosa Colis, was killed Monday on Newburgh Road. Samantha's not responsive. She's in a car accident. And so my mother ended up calling my grandmother, and they started talking. And then my mother called me and confirmed that she had passed. And I, I didn't believe it. I still don't believe it. Janelle tells me Amanda was an extremely strong and caring mom. It was always, I have to do this for the girls, I have to be here for the girls, I have to do... She just did everything for them. There's no way you can explain it. Amanda's fiancé and father to her daughters, Crispin Colise, was murdered in 2016. And Janelle says this is like deja vu for her family. Just like we did it with him, we'll do it with this. And we're going to take care of those girls. And we're going to make sure that they're safe and they never feel... Like there's a void that's not filled. According to a traffic citation complaint, Jamel Gum was driving the red pickup truck involved in the crash. In 2012, he was found guilty of reckless driving and got a DUI in 1999. Police say Gum is still in the hospital. Now Janelle wants other drivers to be aware of the impact they can have on a family. So just slow down, be patient. Don't be the reason why someone isn't here the next day. Don't be the reason why there's a family crying. Why there's kids without parents anymore. Janelle says the two girls will now live with their grandparents. A GoFundMe has been set up, and she says that money will go towards Amanda's daughters. A link to that can be found on our website, mystateline.com. Mimi and Eric. Thanks, Rachel.